Splendid is one of the five wives to the Immortan Joe, and uh, she is considered to be his favorite and his main wife. She's also uh, heavily pregnant, we reckon around seven to eight months. And um, these five wives are these sort of healthy beings in this toxic world. They have no lumps and bumps, they are purebred, and uh, the Immortan has sort of basically treated them as his commodity his you know for their whole lives and he's trying to breed an heir with them and so splendid is his is his favorite and she is also the first pregnant out of all five of them and uh, they're held captive and I think there's a lot of conflict for these five women um, and suffering for them even though they're living in uh, what's uh, considered to be a very plush environment compared to the rest of uh, and compared to the rest of the land it's about a man the immortal Joe who is a warlord of this post-apocalyptic uh, world and his most precious commodity is stolen by Furiosa um, and the his his most precious commodity is these five women uh, who are his uh, breeding stock and um, they escape and he sends out his war party to uh, get them back and um, a, a war breaks out through uh, hundreds of vehicles and it's just this trek across the desert and the wasteland um, and it's this just wild car chase. The one really special thing that I'll take away from this movie is having gotten to work with George Miller, uh, who is a, a bit of a legend and an icon in, in uh, the world of film, and getting to work alongside Charlize Theron and Tom Hardy, who are both of, you know, some of my favorite actors and, and who I love to watch. Um, and just to to get to witness uh, other actors and, and and other artists at work and and seeing what goes into making these extraordinary movies and uh, being exposed to creativity and, and learning um, for me that's just what I love so much about life is you know the the ability to keep learning through my career and uh, exploring more and more things that uh, the world has to offer so um, I'm very honored to uh, to have been a part of this one